what's cracking? This is Darren McDuffie, aka the Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy and toned, otherwise known as fat. So today's topic is just for women, and I'm going to be talking about fibroids and endometriosis. But before I do that, let's get a, get a basic understanding of hormones. Uh, the hormone that makes women women is estrogen. The hormone that makes men men is testosterone. Now, there's something about hormones that you need to know. Hormones are very uh, funny things. They want just enough. They don't want too little and they don't want too much. So when you have conditions like fibroids and endometriosis, what you're, uh, what is occurring is you have estrogen dominant conditions. And you can see that. I posted that up here. You see my sign here of uh, estrogen dominance. So how does estrogen dominance happen? Estrogen dominance happens from a couple of different things. The first thing is birth control pills. What happens when you do have fibroids and endometriosis is you'll go to the doctor, you'll tell the doctor that you have some bleeding. And what the doctor does is he prescribes a birth control pill. And with that pill, you have a reduction in bleeding. But what you don't realize is that that pill is also putting more synthetic estrogen back into your body. So this estrogen has time to accumulate over a number of years. And that accumulation brings about conditions such as fibroids and endometriosis. Another thing is soy. A lot of people think that soy is a health food. Soy is anything but a health food. And if you really want to get rid of some of these conditions, you really need to think about taking soy out of your diet. Soy is just about in everything. And if you read labels, I, I really urge you to read labels when you're shopping. Read the labels and find out if there's soy in your food and avoid it at all costs. Soy can destroy the thyroid and it also can increase estrogen in your body. Another way is commercially raised meats. What a lot of people don't know is we're in a time where everything has to be quick, quick, quick. No one wants to wait on anything. So farmers, in order to bring their you know, goods or bring their meat to the market quicker, they inject these animals with hormones. The hormones make the animals grow faster. They make the animals fatter. But what it does is that once you eat those commercially raised meats, then you all those hormones that were injected into that animal, once you eat their flesh, it's being injected into you. And the only way to avoid that is always go for meats that have no antibiotics and no hormones. You really want to avoid that. Next thing is just xenoestrogens. A lot of people have no idea what xenoestrogens are. So think of xenoestrogens as this. Let's say you... Um, take some bottled water or you drink some bottled water rather you have no idea how long that bottled water has been stored on the shelf at your grocery store and you have no idea before it even got to the grocery store how it was stored so a lot of times what can happen is that these things are stored in big factories before they're shipped out and you don't know if those factories are air conditioned factories or have they been uh, stored in high heat. If they've been stored in high heat, what can happen is that you know once plastic is heated up, it tends to leach chemicals into the water. And one of these things is xenoestrogens. So once you take that sip of, of that bottle of water, you have no idea again where it was, but if it's been stored in high heat, it can leak xenoestrogens uh, and then you drink it and it increases your estrogen content. So what you want to realize is that Again, fibroids and endometriosis are estrogen dominant conditions. There are ways to take estrogen out of your body without having to succumb to these conditions and actually end up uh, helping yourself. Um, take a look at my blog post. This blog post will be posted under the description here on, on this video. And then you can learn the exact ways to reduce estrogen from your body and take it out the natural way. What you don't want to do, and I warn you against this, is that a lot of times what happens with women who suffer from these conditions is that they'll go to the doctor and their doctor will uh, suggest a hysterectomy. And that's not always what is needed. So find out ways to take care of your body naturally and avoid surgery 
uh, and avoid you know going under a doctor's scalpel. So this has been Darren McDuffie, helping you become perfectly healthy and toned. I'll see you same fat time and same fat channel. Thanks. Bye.